Hey, hello people! My name is Rage, and have you ever noticed how hard Incubus flaps? Welcome to the very first mod of the week! We're gonna start out with something not too crazy yet, just something technically tiny. It's only a little alteration of the game, but what happens when every spacebar item has no charge and is spammable as much as you want. Welcome to Infinite Charge. So I thought I'd do this just, just to show you a little bit of how this can go down, but we're not going to do a greed mode. No, that is, that is way, way too easy. So what we're going to do is hop in and get ourselves some D6 action, because I have a plan, and there is something I very much want to see. So the ability to re-roll constantly until we get exactly what we want, that's pretty strong, isn't it? That, that's not Bad, you know, I, I'd say that's pretty much acceptable power levels, so we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. <laughs> so how I expect this, I'm, I'm like really excited. I freaking love mods with this game. You can do some ridiculous things, you really can. Uh, oh, so how this is going to work, each week I'm going to choose a random mod, whether it's a full game conversion like God Mode of Old, or just a little alteration like today, and we'll see how good it is. We'll see how much fun we have and see if it's worthy of being on the spotlight of that week and if we like it if we're really happy with it then uh, we'll do probably one extra run under the influence of the mod in the following uh, week i think that's a nice way to do it of course i freaking can't get to the item room oh you know game i'm only trying to show off the mod where we can have infinite uses of the d6 on the first floor item room to therefore get one of the best items in the world but but no that's fine you just make me take us as long as possible to get there. I'm sure that's absolutely great. I'm sure everybody's on the edge of their seats. Isn't that right, Dingle Dangle? Isn't that right? Aren't you on the edge of your dingle, so you are dangling <laughs> off, because he's like a dingle dangle. That's great. Poop. All right. Here we go. Oh, come on. You know what? Screw this noise and everything it stands for. The run that we choose doesn't matter. Give me an item room. Just give me an item room. Are you serious? I'm sorry, Rage. Oh, there we go. I'm actually allowed to do it. Isn't that great? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. What do we want? What should we start with? 2020 is not bad, but we can do better than 2020. Yes, we can. Look at this. We're just going to cycle through every item in the game until we get one that we really, really want. Okay. Death's Touch, not bad. I'm looking for something along the lines of Quad Shot, though. I think that's a worthy first item. How ridiculous is this? Can you imagine? But the thing is, I kind of want to just find a different spacebar item just to see how that ends up going. What do we even want to take? What do we even want to take? Hey! There it is, Quad Shot. Probably one of my favorite items in the game. Actually, uh... You know, there comes a time in everyone's life where they hate everything and everyone. I think I've found that time. I think I do. I, I think I have actually found uh, that time and now I just... I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do because I mean SERIOUSLY! COME ON! <laughs> It's like the game is trying its absolute best to prevent me having some fun in this ridiculousness. I mean, seriously. Throw all the super envies we can at him! All of them! Send the army if we have to! I don't care what you do, but just stop him! But General, he has infinite power! There's nothing we can do! There must be something. There must be something. For now, stall him as much as possible and we will see. I will tell you my plan though. My plan is to find a shop, have enough money, and then re-roll until we find the boom box. And then with infinite boom box, we should be able to infinitely split our tiers and blanket the entire room in more tiers than we have ever seen anywhere. 
Does that not sound a little bit ridiculously good? So that is my game plan here. That's what I really want to try and make happen. We've got our second item room. Having an XL floor to start is actually really good. I have to admit that. So die, flies, die. There we go. Couple extra bombs looking pretty neat. Boom, boom. Boom, what do we want? What do we want from you? Ooh, we could have quad nails, but no, we can we can do better than that. Of course we can do better than that. We can always do better than that. See, that's the curse with infinite rerolls. You always could technically find a better item. So when do you stop? When do you accept that you found something worth keeping and that everything else you can just leave? I... I don't actually know. Gerald! Nope. Sorry, Gerald. Not today. Not today, Gerald. Not today. Hey, quad shot with contacts. Not bad at all. Sissy! Parasite. Uh, go on, then. We'll have a quad shot, split shot. That's always uh, quite amusing. Let's see how we uh, get on with that. Because basically, what this lets us do with the D6 at least, is effectively choose the ideal build for us and then just have it, because we can just wait till we get the specific item we want in each item room, and that's pretty damn neat. Good money, that is exactly what I want to find here. I mean, I don't want to go to the shop yet, because I need to wait till I have 15, but then there's no reason why, with infinite rerolls, I can't find it, right? There's, there should be nothing stopping that working. Alright, let's get rid of Larry, who's actually going to die very quickly to the parasite spraying all over his face in, in a fight between Larry Jr. and a alien host that latches onto your brain and makes your tears just fly everywhere. There's not much your average Larry can even do. We'll get the damage up, that's fine. And I'm not going to be too picky with uh, boss drops, I don't think. I might be a little bit picky with uh, devil deals, because why the hell not? We may as well get the exact perfect one that we want. Although we could go angel deals and basically guarantee godhead. Like, that's not bad, is it? Splitting Godhead seems very, very effective. Either way, let's see what boss drop we get. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I was about to re-roll it, but then I was like, no, that's like exactly what I'm after. Let's go find our shop and uh, make this happen on the first floor. I am very, very excited. Really an infinite restocking shop straight away. No, I need to keep going and... Uh, I can technically get the steam sale right, but then I don't have enough money. So we'll see if this guy drops money. Come on, he does. We may as well get the steam sale. Half everything off, and then wait until this becomes the boom box. And there it is. So, oh my god. <laughs> That's not bad. I can just keep letting that happen and it goes <laughs> What a good little mod. It's not as good as I wanted it to be because I had hoped it would just keep filling it up But no, it's kind of bugging it out. Let's let's actually use this on a Few rooms and see how it deals with it. All right, keep the splitting going, keep it going. There it is, just kind of cleaving on through. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. I'm glad we've seen that. I mean, I don't want to keep it. I'm going to keep the D6 because uh, that does give us more opportunities to experience other ridiculously spammy spacebar items. But I am very happy to see that work. Uh, let's get something else that lets us constantly use it. I should have gone for the, uh, whatchamacallit. Ooh, Diplopa Plopa. Now we can get away with Diplopa Plopa. That's fine. Actually, no, we probably do want Diplopa Plopa because that's going to let us uh, double our D6 and then have an extra reroll target, which is exactly what we kind of want. So uh, let's see if we can get back to that. It does look like we're basically just cycling around everything, doesn't it? So we'll just have to wait till we happen to find it. Come on, give me the goods, though double item room does seem excellent. Though then again, hey, there we go, hey, it's fine, hey. 
Actually, that changed nothing for me, did it? <laughs> I just realized that did nothing. That did not work the way I expected. Uh, what I'm looking for now is the trinket generator, actually, just so we can guarantee the perfect trinket. Boom, 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 boom. And there we have ourselves a cancer. Thank you very much. How excellent is this? Just to be able to spam every single freaking item you find. All right, triple shot, don't mind if I do. So now we are firing kind of rapid splitting arcing barrages. Don't get me wrong, that is pretty tasty. So what other spacebar items are going to be good with this then? Something like Krampus's head would be fun, because obviously the permanent ridiculousness of the beaming everywhere, Mega Satan's head, a bit of Mega Blast all the time. Every time is going to be brilliant with this. I'm just very excited. There are a lot of possibilities. I don't want to keep the D6 for too long, because... Uh, you know, it's it's the obvious use of this, and it's going to get a little bit... I feel like wasted potential if I only use the D6, but we'll wait to see if something else pops up that is equally as ridiculous, because I think we can definitely do better. Though I am struggling to think of a spacebar item that is really going to pop with uh, this, but I'm sure we'll see one. I mean, effectively, we're going to get to the item room and then re-roll till we find something badass, and that's how it's going to go down. Down. I know we technically missed a coin over there, but I also don't think- Oh no, the fly got to me! How could you fly? How could you? But that's alright, what do we got? Oh, come on! Boom! After all those re-rolls, I happen to end on freaking dirty touch. Are we serious, game? Are we serious right now? Thanks a lot. Thanks a bazillion, and thanks a bunch. My word. Oh, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe we got Curse of the Blind in this situation. I mean, honestly. Oh, man. All right. What are you? The Black Bean. Lovely. So worth it in just every single way, wasn't it? Just so, so worth it. Let's have our boss. Boom! Boom! Hey, we're actually too good for him to charge us. Fantastic. And boom, 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 boom! This one! Hey, that's not bad. We want all the tears up we can get. Let's move on to a floor where we can actually see what we're doing. Isn't that lovely, please? I really have this horrible feeling we were about to just get Curse of the Blind again. Just like, now, nah, that's it. You're done now. No, no, no more doing the uh, floors for you. That's it. You, you're, you're over. I guess that was the next idea the uh, people in charge of the Afterbirth Mobile were thinking. You know, they're in the boardroom. And they're trying to work out how to prevent me using my infinite power for true glory and the like. I've got it. Apply constant curse of the blind. It's genius. It's genius. Wait, wouldn't that get suspicious? I mean, we can do it once, but I mean, what are the chances of having it all the time? We've got to make sure he doesn't realize that we're messing with him. We've got to be subtle about this, Steve. What did I tell you about being subtle? <laughs> like you weren't subtle when you stole my wife. How could you, Steve? Jerry, this is not the time. This is the boardroom, okay? And I didn't steal her, okay? You left her in a ditch to, to die. Wow, that got real really fast. Let's, uh, let's back up from that and uh, enjoy enjoy the ridiculousness. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what just happened. That was, oh God, all right. Speed down, wonderful. We are becoming a very, very slow ass giant here, but that's okay. We can deal and lovely. What do we got? Uh, fruitcake. Oh, ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Let's do that. Because then we've got a ridiculous explosion bomb of seven parasite tiers. And that's a pretty damn good synergy. I am sorry if I'm not picking up other spacebar items, guys, to really experience what we can do with this. I really am. But, I mean, so far I've not really had an opportunity to get anything better. Granted, I could have re-rolled this, but the notion of just a massive... 
with my parasite explosions is just really, really good. Anything crazy up in here? Lusty blood! Pretty good for a shop item. Unfortunately, we don't have the money to claim it. Uh, oh no, we don't! Uh, what I don't understand is this doesn't count as a seeded run. So could I do unlocks in this? I'm kind of happy I waited to 1001 <laughs> percent just bounced him all the way down. Kind of happy I waited until 1001% before doing this then. All right. Hopefully we're going to get devil slash angel deal here. Oh my god. We're like moving him up and down. The dude that's rooted to the floor. Please items. Yes. All right. What do we want then? What do we want? I mean, we're basically able to choose any Devil Deal items we could ask for here. But the question is, what do we need? So we're just going to keep going round and round. Goat Head. Maybe I should get the Goat Head. Incubus, not actually that good because it's not going to get the beam going on. So we're not too worried about that. Brimstone wouldn't be that good because it basically loses us it. I, I think maybe that's one that we need to try, actually. I, I think permanent Mega Blast is something that we need in our lives. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can't do this, shall we? <laughs> All right, everybody. Who's ready for ridiculousness? Uh, I know I am. I know I am. <laughs> We're just going to be able to go through this entire room with a spoon bender mega blast. That's what this run is going to be. A permanent homing mega blast. Can we just think about that for a second? As if this needed to be homing, but no. No, no, it is. It is, it is definitely homing. Hello. Brownie, how are you doing? Oh, you're dead. The beam is actually bigger than you are, so that's quite intense. And Krampus! Good to see you! Good to see you! Oh god, blast me away, please. He didn't last long at all. Now, if I could just get that spacebar item, that would be wonderful. The little beam of the technology alien laser inside it looks amazing. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Holy hell! That's almost as good! Look at that! That is beautiful! That is absolutely beautiful. But I think we still want permanent Mega Blast. I think that's what we need in our lives. Especially to fight something like the Hush. Honestly, I'm just going to go for it. I want to get to the boss rush, and I want to get to the uh, Hush. And I really think we can just avoid item rooms. Like, I know I missed an item room on that floor, but... We don't need it, do we? Like, straight up, because uh, this is the best thing we could ever ask for with this. I don't think there is a better item to have permanent just usage of. So, I am going to destroy everything that stands before me. Absolutely everything. Like, look, the second I walk into a room, it is all just murdered. My only regret is that I occasionally have to press spacebar again to keep it going, but I don't suppose that's too bad now, is it? Appear, ghost. Go on, I, I dare you. I absolutely dare you! That would have been disastrous. I don't think we want epic fetus, though. That would just basically mean, like, seven missiles, wouldn't it? Which is kind of insane, thinking about it. Ooh, bouncing as well. Not that that would really do anything for us because of the beam. It would kind of focus everything in. So yeah, because we have permanent homing beam, I'm going to see what happens if we take uh, seven shot Epic Vetus. <laughs> that is, that's not bad, is it? That's, that's all right. That's acceptable, I would say. That's uh, pretty damn good. Oh, man, that is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And she survived. Holy hell. All right, grab that very carefully. Well, we actually have to wait for it to stop. So there we go. And what are we being offered? An orbital is actually fine right now. So there it is. And then we'll grab that. And then basically just kind of see what happens. Because in theory... Not much should be able to stand up to this, right? This is just going to completely homing death beam everything, and that's just it. Like, look at this boss rush! <laughs> oh, 
man, that is truly something. What the hell is surviving? Oh, there was technically war up there, I suppose. This does so much damage. Oh, man. All of the infinite. What a cool little mod. I mean, it's just, it is technically a subtle change, just what happens if we take away charge, but it makes such a huge difference. It really does. I'm actually struggling to even stay stood still here. There's just too much power coming out from all of this. And I'm not even using my epic fetus, which is just hilarious. And, uh, yeah, I feel bad. The parts of Blastasis there just appearing in the laser of death. Oh, man. Boop, 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 boop. I guess I should just laser it because he's a haunt up there. And, you know, we just don't want to have to deal with that. Hey, Fistula. You know something's good when the beam that you kill Fistula with is bigger than Fistula himself. Like, that's kind of what you need with your life. And some health, which is actually good because knowing me, I'm somehow going to die with all of this. Like, I feel like that's something I'm going to pull off. So how fast do we think permanent... Uh, Mega Blast is... Oh, this is going to look amazing in the darkness. Look at this. Just look at this. But, I mean, think of the uh, po other possibilities, guys. Do you want to see a bonus run with this mod? What kind of spacebar items uh, should we be looking for? What's got a really massive amount of potential? Yeah, it's situations like that that I'm glad we found some extra health in. I really am. Um, oh god, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Nothing even matters anymore. We'll grab that key for when we eventually make it to the chest, but for the most part, we are absolutely fine. I'm not sure how I technically fired my epic fetus there, because you can't fire while brimstoning. It's, I suppose it must have been in between, right? That would make sense. And uh, where is our boss? Just look at us. We do look ridiculous as well. No, I don't actually care about that. I'd rather save my tears. Yeah, look, I'm genuinely struggling to have enough health to do this. <laughs> Oh no, if I die, I genuinely feel I am actually going to die. That's how terrified I am. Thank you very much for that spirit heart. That's wonderful. On we go then. On we go. Though I guess if we're going to the hush, we're probably going to get a fair amount of items, so that's fine. Ooh, there we go. Gotta remember that as long as I'm brimstoning, there's not really much that can stop me. I'm going to chill here and... No, I can't chill here. I can't... Wow, I actually managed to pull that off. That is absurd to me. That is absolutely absurd. Let's get all of this. They're homing, so they kind of move by themselves, which really sucks, because that's just going to make me get hit by them so often. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good? I, I hope so. This looks promising. This definitely looks like this might be the way to go, and it is. Hello, it lives. How are you doing? Oh, you're dead. That's, that's a shame. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We at least got a devil deal, and... Actually, surprisingly, that's a pretty good devil deal because it's just a full heal. So we do gain health from doing that. So I'm okay with that. And on we go to the blue womb. I've got a bump for this. I mean, I don't expect miracles. I think we're still going to struggle to kill him for the most part, but still should be fine. Little chubby, get ourselves an attack buddy all up in here. And toxic shock. Yeah, why the hell not? And then you. Well, that's just... Brilliant! <laughs> That's just actually brilliant! Do we think seven missiles are enough to kill... Wow! That's quite insane, isn't it? Hell, even the laser isn't doing that ridiculously large amounts of damage to it. But let's see how it does against the hush, shall we? Yeah, that's not bad. Though, that was before his damage reduction kicked in, so... Wow, the hush is kind of just cool with this. Look at it. I'm just fully blasting him to hell, and he just doesn't give a crap. And I actually can't really dodge effectively, because I'm mega blasting. 
That sucks. That really, really sucks. I mean, I did seven bombs there. I wonder how the Epic Fetus will do against the Hush then. Maybe I should check. At the very least, he can't do his flies or anything like that. I think I'm fine. Yep, there we go. That should be all right. We'll have a look at the Epic Fetus and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think the Epic Fetus is actually better, which to be fair, isn't that crazy to think about given that it is seven Epic Fetuses. So my Mega Mega Blast to be my room clearer, and then uh, my uh, Epic Fetus can be my tough boss annihilator. Though if he summons zombies or flies, then I guess in that circumstance we'll go back for Mega Blast because that should just immediately kill them all. Yeah, look at it spiking downwards to get them. I mean, irrelevant of it still taking a large whoa, irrelevant of it still taking a large amount of time. It's still fantastic to fight the Hush with. Permanent freaking uh, mega Satan beams. I mean, honestly, I can't believe I got away with that. That's pretty good. So I wonder what modifiers the beam can actually be affected by. Because obviously it can be affected by Spoonbender, but I wonder if it can be affected uh, by other things. Granted, there's not much more you'd really need it to be uh, affected by, so I don't really know. And there we go. Dead, da da dead, da da dead. Let's head up towards the line. Ooh. Yeah, I just, this is it. This is the best way in the world to ever use Mega Blast. I just don't think there's a way of doing it. Though, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but in this situation, I actually think Mega Blast is doing a disappointing amount of damage, which I feel like is kind of like, seriously, that is so ungrateful, but... I'm genuinely, I'm sad. I really thought it would annihilate, but no, it was kind of just, eh, you know, it's kind of just all right, but nothing crazy. Still, I mean, it is hilarious fun to mega blast through every single room on an entire floor. Don't get me wrong. There is something very exceptionally appealing about that, but still, I, for the most powerful item in the game, you expect a little bit more when you've been given the ability to permanently use it, you know? And uh, pop, pop, pop. Little bit of an overkill, I will admit, for a simple leech there, but you can never be too sure. If you don't kill them, they come back stronger, and then what are you gonna do? Exactly. And pop, 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 pop. I mean, that's pretty much just one-shotting everything. Fortunately, we're finding some health, so it isn't the end of the world. No point using missiles on that. I'm just looking for some extra keys. Two out of four, so that's all right there. And then, hello? We got ourselves... Well, I've got a present for you, my friend. Actually, worth doing, because I got myself a spirit heart, and that damage turned out didn't matter. I was like, oh, I don't want to waste the normal heart that it gave me. What just happened? There was two daddy long legs there, right? I'm not going crazy. There was definitely two daddy long legs there for no apparent reason. Like, I'm not... That was very, very weird. I, I mean, I guess I'm just going to accept it, but... That was definitely very, very weird. Joker! Uh, may as well get that. We gain health from taking it, and we don't need the x-ray spec, so that's okay. Anything crazy going there? We get a tarot card that we can't pick up while we are freaking brimstoning all over the place. At least we can bomb while we're brimstoning. We got that going for us. Come on, you can run out. Fine, I'll clear one extra room. And now you run out. Sod's Law there. Definitely Sod's Law. I don't think I have Mr. Mega, though, so my explosions are magnified. Not that I know for sure if uh, Epic Fetus ones are magnified, honestly, but I don't think it really matters too much. Let's go! It is awesome how fast you run when you let yourself be uh, powered by it. Okay, it's killing Isaac pretty quickly. I, I gotta admit that. That is some solid Isaac killing potential there. And boom. One is definitely enough for him. Alright, to the chest we go. Would be very lovely to have a pop at Mega Satan with his own blast, but alas, we chose the powers of the devil. Iron Bar and a Aquarius. Hey, ha <laughs> that's an amazing room to have a homing mega blast in. Oh, that felt good. That room can be so annoying sometimes. I know there's a spirit heart in there, but 
That is fine. Oh, that is satisfying. That is satisfying as hell. I am so happy I chose to start with this mod. I really am. Okay, we got ourselves an extra key, so let's see what we can do with that. That was that was quite a destruction there. I think it's going to run out pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. So, boom. Scapula. I, I, I don't know. I just imagine people who actually use scapula. Is that, that's what they say. Because, you know, it's pretty fabulous. You know, because you use it to break runs. It's like, yeah, scapula. And it's just, you just love it. You just love it like that. Uh, oh, good times. Destroying the hell through the chest. And uh, that's really all we could ask for. We do have a few more items to go get. It's a shame split tiers don't actually make your epic fetus do split bombs when they land. Like, that would be so awesome. It really would. And boom, 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 boom. So you could technically get up to, like, 13 missiles dropping at once, I think, if you had every single tier multiplying effect. Ooh, infinite D4. Don't mind if I do. Let's take that and let's see what crazy builds we get. Because we don't have to worry about being bound by charge. Permanent Unicorn's Horn would be quite amusing as well. Nothing crazy, but definitely, I would say, a guaranteed victory. More so than even a permanent Mega Blast. Alright, one. Polyphemus and Cricket's Head. Pretty good there. But we do have the Ditz Hat. Not bad. Let's go again. And we've got... That's very weirdly specific. Look at that. All right, what is next? We've got ourselves a Ludo laser ring. Looking pretty good. And... Uh, oh, God, we reached the end. We reached the end, and it's tiny, little, not powerful at all. Tears. Look, we even lost our toxic. We're just a normal giant fly with nowhere to go. It's a good bloody job. We still have Mega Blast. I will uh, tell you that right now. <laughs> Though what's cool is we can full on see the awful horror that Mega Blast looks like because there's nothing else obscuring our face. This is pure Mega Blast action. And uh, here you are, Blue Baby. This is uh, for you. Goodbye. All right, guys. That is the Infinite Charge Spacebar Items mod. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know if you want another run with this on. And finally, let me know of any other mods you would like me to check out for next week. I like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, goodbye. Yeah.